So um, I've been using these multimeter probes for a very long time. These are probe master probes. So these are the world's best probes. Um, the uh, cable is just just noodle soft. It's just, it's just amazing. And uh, they are uh, gold plated, uh, gold plated tips. Uh, yeah, these things, these things are a joy to work with. So I have at least three sets of these um, on various things. And like, again, the, the, the company is Probe Master. Now Probe Master makes other things as well. And um, I was on eBay the other day and found this for $13 and had to have it. So it is made by Probe Master and it is a probe, but it is an oscilloscope probe. So yeah, Probe Master makes oscilloscope probes. I know they have, um, I've just never had one before. So for $13, I thought I would buy one and give it a try. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's, let's open up the package. That's what it looks like from the front. Um, let's see here. Heavy duty probe, rugged tip, 0 0.055 diameter. Like I said, those little tips can sometimes break off. Maybe this is a heavy duty one. 100 megahertz, uh, our promise to you. Um, yeah, see the president gives his personal phone number out so you can call him up. Um, El Cajon, California. Yeah, so probe master. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at it here. It comes with an accessory bag. Uh, there's the uh, grabby tip and the ground probe, so we will need those things. So we'll take them out of here. Uh, there's a little screwdriver to do the adjustments. And uh, take a look at this thing. Oh, that's interesting. This unscrews. I've never seen that before. Ah, I can see the insides. There's the. There's the socket and there's the little grabby probe thing. Okay, interesting. So it goes in like this. All right. And here is the probe. So let's zoom back out. Um, it, is, it is not a times one times 10. It is only a times 10, which I kind of like actually. I don't like having that switch that I can mess up. Yeah, the, the probe tip is fat. It's much more rugged than, uh, than other probe tips I have. It's not gold plated, but it has some real shiny plating on it. So I don't know what kind of uh, metal that is, but it looks, it's not bare copper or anything. It's, it's some kind of strange plating. Maybe nickel plating or something. I don't know. Interesting. Well, we can put our, we can put our ground on. It has little clips here. These are gold plated. Clip those on. Okay, now we have uh, alligator clips. Nice. We can try the try the probe out. It's got a pretty he heavy spring on it. That's good. And uh, it's quite a long reach from here to here. You have to really reach up, but it has a long grab too. So. It feels different than than any other probe I have. This distance here is a little bit longer than I'm used to. Um, it says uh, Probe Master, San Diego, California. El Cajon is right next to San Diego. Um, and there's the adjustment. Here we go. This is a model 3904-2 uh, times 10, 100 megahertz. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go. All right, I put it on channel four here. So let's turn on channel four, we'll turn off channel one. Uh, we will trigger on channel four. And I'll connect it to the calibrator output here. And I'll connect the ground up. And there we go. So we have a uh, Some calibration to do on the uh, on the probe. We'll use our little adjustment tool here, and there we go. Perfect match. I like it.
I don't know. Uh, the only thing I, I don't like is this long, long gap right here. It just, it's going to just take me some use to getting, get, you know, take, take some getting used to. Um, the uh, ground is nice. All, all the wire feels good. The, the uh, uh, ground wire is silicone, very supple. And this, this cable is, is uh, it's not supple, but I can tell it's like a real, a real high quality uh, rubber coating, like a neoprene coating or something. Maybe neoprene's not the right word, but uh, maybe it's silicone as well, some type. But it uh, it feels it feels quite rugged. So um, there is a uh, strain relief here. Yeah, I don't think this this comes apart in any shape or fashion. And. Uh, it does not come with a little spring things. Let's see if a, a Rigel spring will go on it. And uh, Rigel spring's a little bit too small. Um, anyway, I wanted to shoot a quick video on these because I do see them come up from time to time. I've seen strange lots of them once in a while that were like a military contract or something and they were military surplus, but they were brand new. Um, so they do, they do come around from time to time um, for really, really good prices. So instead of buying one of the cheap Chinese ones, yeah, get one of these ones made in the United States and uh, from a company that we all trust, uh, Probemaster. Uh, it's built really well, and I'm sure it would uh, last a long time. Looks great.